Some guy wrapped in a towel is screaming for help. What will you do? I'll give him a headlock. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? Let's. Li that's a very good question, actually. I'm gonna put this guy in a headlock. I, I don't think he can breathe that way, Falcon69. <laughs> Release him, you big dork! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Galaxy of Pen and Paper. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Now, if you are already thinking Knights of Pen and Paper, you are correct. This is actually from the developers of the first game. The second title, I believe, was developed by another um, developer. Um, but this is actually being developed by the original Knights of Pen and Paper 1 team, which is also the team behind Chroma Squad. So it's a, a BR game, so all of you Brazilian natives, another game kind of your, coming out of your country here, and a good one too. I took this out for a small little spin, and already I was really enjoying it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a video on this, and maybe we might even cover more in the channel if you guys enjoyed this. So let me know in the video, or in the comments down below, I should say, if you enjoyed this and would like to see a bit more. This comes out on the 26th, if I'm correct, so we do have a bit of early access here for the game. Hello! Can you guys hear me? Is everyone here? I think so. I can't see you, though. Ugh, I think my network is acting up. Let me have a look at this. There we go. Everything's fine and dandy now. This is, this takes place in 1999 as well, so I, you're gonna see a bunch of references in that little period. We got the, the PlayStation 1 back there. Oh my god, man, I love my PS1. Still have it somewhere, just beat up and old, but it still works. Who will be the Galactic Master? Let's actually come over here and create our game manager himself. And I already have an idea who we're doing. We're going with Steve Urkel here. Um, I got the, the Steve Urkel type face over here. Let's go to the body. We gotta give him some clothing as well. I will skim through so you can see all the different type of things. You'll see like references to Star Trek and Star Wars and all sorts of other cool things as well. But because we're doing Urkel, unfortunately we don't really have legit suspenders. We have overalls, but that's not really the same thing. I'm gonna give him a bow tie. There you go. That's, that's good. That'll work out. Let's go to the gadget over here. No, no, you take that virtual boy off, my friend. I will give you some geeky glasses. There you go. Did I do that? Yeah, you did that all right. And we got to give you a chair as well, huh? <laughs> I, I don't remember Steve Urkel ever being in a wheelchair, so maybe not that one. I think Homeboy over here needs like a good edge seat. That, that works out pretty good, I would say. Yeah, that's a Nurkle type move right there. Actually, you know what? He should be in an office chair. Yeah, that would kind of work out more with the Persona. So let's give him a nickname. He will be Urkel. I could do the entire name, but you know who I mean, right? Uh, I hope. I forget that I'm, I'm fairly older now, so people watching the videos could be like, who the hell are you talking about? Let's create a character over here now, and let's see what we got. This will be our two main party members. I assume that over time we'll be able to increase that, but right now we start off with two. Two friends who are playing this little pen and paper game with us. Um, and up here, you get to choose, like... A combination of a bunch of stuff, right? Over here will be like the, the main class, I suppose, or what they excel at. We have the Achiever, we have the Buddy, Show Off, Slayer, Socializer, Storyteller. I'll, I'll skim through these so you can see them. I don't want to spend too much time setting this up, but you guys can pause and read as you want. We'll go with the Slayer. Whenever he kills somebody, he gets some HP back. Good. Now we get to choose what race he will be. We have Simeon, we have Green, and we have Human. And they're kind of like the really big buff guys, so I will make myself a Slayer Simeon. And his ability will be Trooper. Heavy guns to force enemies into submission. Let's give a name for this guy. We shall go with... You'll be Falcon69. You will be... Me. Alright? So I'm placing a lot of trust in you not sullying my name here. Now, for this one, I kind of want to go support. You'll be Lady Gaga99. There you go. Circa99. That's what Lady Gaga looked like. There you guys have it now. Alrighty. Hey, Falcon69. Lady Gaga99. All these numbers. I can see you guys now. Everyone looking good. So, we're playing a sci-fi setting this time? Yep, this is a new system by Cosmos Publishing, DERPS. It stands for Digital Universe Role-Playing Spiel. Spiel? Cosmos Publishing is German. <laughs> anyway, everyone ready to blast into space? I was born ready, Urkel. Okay, exactly a thousand years into our future, in the year 2999. <clears throat> you live on Tantin's ship, Graveyard. You sold all your stuff to buy a spaceship from Vestro, a local used spaceship dealer. Unfortunately, you didn't read the fine print when you signed the contract. You are now bound to Vestro until you pay him one bajillion credits. What a rat. Hey, doofuses. Insectoids hold up inside the storage. I'm gonna stop doing that. I tried to give it a shot, but it's gonna get so annoying. They refuse to pay rent, so kick him out. Maybe I'll give him a voice, though. How about that? 
So Vestra orders you guys to kick out the Matoids in the storage. What do you say? Here we'll squash them, or are we getting paid for this? And that's a good one for me. Cool, you get a bonus interpretation XP. Okay, now Vestro says, I admire your petulance. But no, you're not. Now, get to work. Aw, oh, what a penny pincher. It had to start on the sand planet. Clear Vestro storage, cool. And the music is so good in the game too, so awesome. Boxes of bits and pieces of spaceship parts are piled around Vestro's storage shed. You soon come across the insectoid intruders, a bunch of Matoids. Psst. Hey, keep quiet. We're sleeping here. Psst. You find intruding insectoids, what do you do? Let's squash these bugs or help us take Vestro down. Oh, we could <laughs> we could pair up with them, really? Let's give it a try. Whoever that is, psst, is he's not psst, arachnoid. Leave us psst, alone. Defeat three Matoids to continue. So they didn't care. Obviously, we can't really talk sense into these Matoids here. So, how this works out, we have to kill three for the quest to be complete. Now, if we add more than three to the fight, we could also get a couple of extra things. We could get extra credits. We could also get extra experience. And finally, extra loot if we completely fill up the thing with enemies. But it'll be a lot more difficult. And since we're early on right now, I really wouldn't encourage that. Um, I think you can do it, though, if you have, like, a really strong party, but I don't think my party is fixed for six fights or six enemies. So let's do one, two, three. Let's go up to four. I would have loved the extra experience, but that would require six. As a matter of fact, six doesn't even get you the loot. So yeah, you know what? Get out of here. I will do four for the credits, because if we do five, we can't get to experience anyway. So go with that one here. Alrighty. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn, click on an available action, and choose your target. Wondering what to do now? Attack, skill, strategy, actions, items, it's your move! So, actually, it's their move. They're starting off first here. So they attacked me twice. Um, they brought my shields down, and now they're going into my HP. So we do have shields as well. Um, let's see. First is Lady Gaga. So over here we can do an attack on an entire line. 18 to 21. How much um, HP do you guys have? Oh, wow. I should have actually gone full blast. With this skill here, we could have easily taken out an entire row in one shot. Ah, well, whatever. So, I, I will save my SP, though, just in case. And let's just go with a regular attack for now. One shot kill. Yeah. I think I should have done the six after all. Oh, well. You have kinetic shields on. As long as they are up, your HP won't be affected by most attacks. Shields partially regenerate every turn. Be careful, I can't guarantee your safety without them. So now it's over here to Falcon 69. Let's go ahead and um, bring this fella down here. Good shot, 22. And because we have my Slayer ability, I did heal by killing that fella right there a little bit. It's back to Lady Gaga. So now I could use this ability to kill both of them, but I'm not sure if SP regenerates after this fight. And I know there's another fight coming up kind of soon, so I'll just, you know, melee it out for now, or ran regular attack it out for now. That should be it. Alright, at least we'll get some extra credits. No extra experience, though. And we got a rat burger out of that, too. Heals 28 HP of your target. Fine, Will. Psst, leave. Hope you're happy with yourselves, you home wreckers. The Matoids wiggle out of the storage, rolling down a sand dune that's probably scorching hot. Not the brightest ones in the hive, huh? Let's tell Vester we're finished here. The Matoids are gone. Good. You got some credits from them, eh? I'll take those to help you pay your debt. Oh, he took my money too! So the extra credits was for Nod. Ah, god damn it. See? I'm a looking after you fools. <laughs> Vester takes the money you got from beating the Matoids. What do you say? You can't do that. Ah, eh, just take it. No, no, fuck that. You can't do that. Yes, I can, you big oaf. Okay, I'll show you how nice I am. I'll cancel your contract if you ever get hold of a spaceship of your own. Don't you own all the spaceships around here? Oh, that's right. I do. <laughs> I hate this guy. That night, you notice a star that shines brighter than the other stars in the dark sky. Someday, we'll be exploring those mysterious stars. I hope. Mission complete. Alrighty. Two rat burgers as well, and a distilled water for SP. Nice. And we leveled up as well. So now we have options. Let's see. We're gonna first and foremost talk to 
a nearby planet dweller. And the reason why we're doing it is because if you talk to people, even though it doesn't seem like important at the time, later on in the story, I do believe you could probably open up special quests by talking to them in the planet beforehand. You're adventurers, aren't you? It must be so nice, Dad. Discovering the wonders and secrets of the verse is... and its peoples? It is. Why don't you give it a try, too? Me? I don't know. It looks very dangerous. Well, yeah, there's danger involved. But you can take it easy at first. No need to take everything in at once. Actually, you're right. I can go on adventures. I will sell my po possessions and buy a ship. Hey, um, don't, don't go overboard. I, Rufus, will discover all the secrets the verse has to offer. He runs off, excitedly. Now there's someone easily excitable. Well, good luck to him. Hopefully we'll meet him again. Alrighty, so there's that. Now, let's um, go and um, level ourselves up here a little bit. So we have two skill points to give away. Excellent. And these are, are just natural growth. I'll do initiative for now. Because I think we could use a bit more speed to our attack positioning. And then I'll save the one credit and try to build myself up to Warcry. So that's for him. Next we have Lady Gaga. And for her, I definitely want raise my SP by 10. Oh, hold up, hold up. If I do that, oh, I won't have heals yet. You know what? No, no. Let me get the heal ability first. Next level up, we'll pick up um, Sciencer, Sciencerer, and um, get more SP for more casting. Yeah, so that's good. Alrighty, we're done here. And now let's come over here and create a mission. Alright, time to test the mission creation system. By choosing a mission type, mission giver, and setting, you can create all sorts of adventures. Okay, let's see what we can come up with. And this seems very interesting to me as well. I haven't tested this out just yet, because right now they give you like a limited amount of things to mess around with, but I guess as you progress, you'll get like different mission givers, and you combine them and make your own missions and rewards and experience, which is, sounds pretty cool to me. All right, so right now we have the campaign quest as the only one available. Yeah, so let's do that one here for now, and we'll get a reputation of 20 stars. The following day, Vestro shows up again. Let's see, the NTE Protector could use a good scrubbing. Help! Help! Somebody help! Some guy wrapped in a towel is screaming for help. What will you do? I'll give him a headlock. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? Let's l that's a very good question, actually. I'm gonna put this guy in a headlock. You put Mr. Kent in a headlock. <laughs> I don't think he can breathe that way, Falcon 69. Release him, you big dork! Uh, uh, at least that gave me time to put my thoughts together. See, I helped him out a little bit. So someone's sending Sand Raiders to take over Crazy Camel. Sending. You messed up, huh? You, 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 he cleared his error, you saw that? Blast it! That's bad for business! Alright, Kent, I'll lend you my private soldiers. For a price, of course. Uh, for fine. Escort Mr. Kent back to Crazy Camel and take care of those Sand Raiders. You can take the ATV we scavenged last week. Wait, wait, wait. Why in the verse is the town called Crazy Camel? It's a long story. You don't want to know, tr trust me. In fact, let's just go. I would rather face the Raiders than think about it. Okay. Mr. Kent has joined the party. Alright. Now, let's see here. That's the current quest. Um, team information, planetary travel. Um, here you could actually make your own combat, like your own fights, like we would do with the Matoid. Um, in order to level yourself up on the side as well. But, um, we're not gonna be doing that. We're going straight up to the mission here. And here's our overworld map here at the moment. So, we're in Tantan. And I guess down the line we'll be unlocking more and more of this here. So, we're going down to... Where are we going? The Crazy Camel, and we're down here, right? The ship graveyard. So, Crazy Camel it is. And... Landed. Is that it? Are we here? Yeah, we're here. So now we click on you, if I'm correct. The dusty hot town of Crazy Camel is famous for its cantinas, filled by all kinds of weirdos. Some Sand Raiders approach you guys as soon as you get there. Hey, you must pay an entry toll if you want to visit Crazy Camel. Orders of Lord Ginormous. Uh, but I live here. Hey, making excuses not to pay. We'll just confiscate your stuff then. Oh my god, look, he's buck naked now. He doesn't even have a towel, he's got like a, a black bar. <laughs> he only had a towel to his name. Wow, this very much feels like those dreams where you're naked in cyber school. 
b b but in real, it's embarrassing. Life. Naked Mr. Ken dashes off like there's no tomorrow. That was very mean, you nasty bullies. Lady Gaga's is snickering. Hey, don't try to distract me. Y'all need to pay too. So the Sand Raiders demand an entry fee. What's your next action? We'll pay in punches? Or ask about Lord Ginormous. No, 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 man. We'll pay in punches. I got them all here lined up, ready to go. Hey, you want to play tough, you punks? Hey, we can play tough. Defeat five Sand Raiders and continue your mission. Okay. So we need five. Now, what's interesting about this, I'm not sure if um I could do like two or three first and then do another. I, I'm not sure if I could split up the fight. So I'm not sure if I have to fight all five at once. If you do, it's a fairly tough fight. I've actually have beat it beforehand, but it was very close. But, you know, let's give it a try. Why not? Now, if we do all five, we'll also, we'll also get some loot. So I'm down with that. Let's fight it out. It'll be tough. These guys actually hit pretty hard, too, is my big concern. And they're gonna all gang up on me. So let's see if we can pull this off here. So... Um, let's see. My boy is first here. We can do 36 to 46, uh, 36 to 43 damage to your target. That would knock one of them out instantly, I would say, right? Because they got a shield of 10 and 26 HP. So, yeah. The minimal damage will indeed knock one of them out. So let's start off with that one. And... I think we'll probably end up using her... Her line attack. So, oh, unfortunately, I can't shoot back there. Ah, uh, that's a shame. So I guess we'll have to go after you. Boomski, one down. Now it's back to us. So I, I gotta keep some SP just for heals in case we have 13. Um, which means we could do 3. Yeah, 3 will be 12. 4 times 4 times 4, yeah. So, let's start off by, I would say, bringing their shields down and doing a little bit of damage as well down here, and then we could have maybe Falcon follow it up and finish it up, right? Yeah, so. Oh, we got a free skill use because of her special ability as the the green variety of race. Alright, so my- Oh my god, that guy just crit me. No! What are the fucking odds this guy would crit me and knock me out? Shit! Well, this is a, this is a problem now. <laughs> there goes my heavy dealer. Oh, good god. You boy. I don't know about this one now, guys. I don't know about this one. Free skill use. Alright, we got two knocked out. Now, luckily for us, I do have a heal still. And I have only two guys to deal with now, and it's back to me. It might be a possibility. Unfortunately, Falcon didn't get any experience. That, that crit ruined everything. Had I not been crit, he would have survived, would have dropped the heal. We would have gone down the line, but so be it. So now we have an option. Go for the long shot and hurt them both significantly, or just whittle it down. Unfortunately, if I whittle it down, we might not even bring down the shields in one go, but we do have a couple of items too, right? Yeah, I could also drop the rat burger, and even the distilled water again if I want to. Um, yeah, you know what then? We shall go with the long shot first. Free skill use? Excellent. So that didn't even cost me any SP. Oh, wow. Okay, stop. Stop, stop. Okay, so now we have an option. Let's see. What are we at here? 16. I gotta do 17 damage to bring you down. 18 damage. Oh, that's perfect. So our minimal damage is 18, which is enough to knock you out. Now, if I miss... I die. Got him! <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. That was scary. That was a lot closer than it had to be. That crit basically ruined everything, but we got through. Lord Ginormous will have our heights for this. An armored figure that appears. No, he won't, because he'll all be in jail. Space police isn't any better, you know. I'm Val Parsec of Nebula Command, soldiers. I'll handle the situation now. You're relieved of your duties. Val drags the Sand Raiders away as she looks, as she goes looking for more troublemakers. Mr. Kent returns. Phew! Good thing I managed to call Nebula Command to aid us. I even had time to go home and get a fresh new towel. Why didn't you just get properly dressed? C -c Quit judging my fashion sense. I'll have you know my towel collection is nothing short of impressive. Anyways, thanks for all your help. Things are looking up around Crazy Camel. Mr. Kent leaves. I hope he'll put some pants on now. Eh, at least acquiring trousers is easier than getting off with this dusty rock. <laughs> 
Oh, I love the comedy in the game, too. And our mission is now complete. Alrighty. So now, let's see. There's nobody to talk to here. There's a shop. We have to level up Lady Gaga. But, guys, we are out of time here for this video. So, as I mentioned before when we start off, if you would like to see a bit more, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we shall cover more of this. Otherwise, I'll have all the information for the game down below in the description. Comes out on the 26th, if I'm correct. So, if you want to pick it up, there you will have all the info down below. I will catch you next time.